Hello everybody and thank you once again for joining me for another of the weekend's event videos for Magic the Gathering in the arena. My name is Justice, my handle is Sarkantuna. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for this kind of content. I do ladder climbs, deck techs, all the events. Let me go ahead and hide my camera so that we can get a pretty clear picture of the drafts that we're about to do. This is the Greedy Draft event in Greedy Draft. Each player will draft from three packs and pick the cards you draft. Uh, you get to keep those cards, but with a twist. Everyone can play two lands per turn, starts with nine cards in their hands, and has no maximum hand size. Um, this is another one of those mana advantage draft events, um, so I, I'm not too happy about these. It's pretty much whoever goes first wins, unless you get a really wild draft, and, uh, and then you can probably make up for some of that stuff. Now, I'm all free to play, right? And as a free-to-play player, I like to spend my gold on these events however this events a little different I've been saving up my gems and I feel like I have enough gems to spend them on this event only and then I can start stockpiling my gold I'm only at 5,000 and I really want to be at like 50,000 when War of the Spark comes out and if I do my daily quests I can get there so for this event only because I've saved up some gems I happen to do really well in the limited formats um, from Ravnica Allegiance thus far and I have 3,000 gems to show for it so for this event only, I will spend my gems. If you're short on gems and spend gold, it's the wise choice. And we, in the free-to-play market, are done spending gold on packs at this point. Ooh, mass manipulation. That's not bad. Not very great for draft, though. So I like um, Archway Angel is a pretty big creature. Fairy Duelist is strong. I've gotten pretty good about... Ravnica Allegiance so far. I like Watchful Giant too. He's pretty good. Spear Spewer is fun. Territorial Boar. Perilous Oligarch is good. And you will get uh, two mana to play per turn. Rakdos Trumpeter could be good, especially with that mana base. Uh, and there's also a gate, so we're going to get gates in every pack. But we could do like Archway Angel, even though it's a six, a six drop in this format, that's not too crazy. So maybe that's what we're on here. And then we go into um, the white space. I know like some of the, the blue cards are pretty good in the set too for draft. So nothing too, too powerful here. I'll do like Death Touch. But let's go with Archway Angel and see where we end up in the next couple of packs here. Okay, so it looks like we could be on for Azorius. I like Senate Guild Mage. And then we're on for a gate at some point. Coral Commando. Oh, Soraform Hybrids are strong. Really strong in this. Adapt is going to be... Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, see, because it's for six, it adapts four, but you will be able to get to that a lot sooner because of the mana. Uh, you know, playing two lands per turn is going to be huge. Or Code of Constraint, that's also pretty strong. And you get to draw a card. And it doesn't untap if you addendum it. But it's a three... Well, the, yeah, mana cost is nothing. So I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go old school and just grab some creatures that are... that make me happy. Sometimes these events really throw away the rules. Eh, they don't really throw away the rules. Oh, I like Terramander. How's the officers? Not, not, too, not too great. Wayfinders aren't great. Open the gates is uh, ah. rampaging Rendhorn. Not too great otherwise, but I think in this draft, I think he's going to be good. Oh yeah, Sphinx of Duprav is strong. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Even though the, mm, I like summary judgment though too. If we're going white, yep. We need the removal. So yeah, we're going to go with summary judgment. For the removal, that's good. Drill bit goes away. No, no. Rafter demon. We have a gate or a rester zeal. Although we're kind of on like this weird, this weird uh, Selesnia colors, and that's not the right way to do this set. I don't like a rester zeal as much as I like um, Senate courier, maybe. Mm-hmm. 
How did Forbidding Spirit... So no one's drafting Azorius yet. The bots are not coming after Azorius colors. So which means we can... I like Forbidding Spirit, but I think I like Skitter Eel better, being the mana... This, this being a mana bonus draft here. Oh, boy. Do we add any green and go, like, white, green, and blue? Petitioners suck. Storm Strike isn't terrible. I could grab some gates. I don't want to grab any gates. I'll go Watchful Giant and hope that the mana, the mana boon is, is actually a boon that I think it will be. Viscopa, three casting, three one with live link. Um, yeah, we'll go with it. Could use some card draw at some point. Okay, I like Fairy Duelist here. I also like Watchful Giant. I think I think expensive creatures are sort of like gonna be the new normal. Swirling Torrent, put target creature tops on turn target creature's owner's hand. So that's not terrible either. Swirling Torrent, because even though it's six casting, that's still turn three. You know what I mean? So, like, it could, it won't be, because you're not going to get two lands every turn. You can just play two lands a turn. So it'll be like on turn four, you'll have four land. Well, turn, turn two, potentially, you'll have four lands down, three or four. So that's kind of the speed we're looking at. I'm going to go with Fairy Duelist. I like flying, and I like that cantrip. Okay, so I'll grab these green cards. We're probably not on green. Looks like we're going Azorius, and that's just fine with me. I don't mind Wall of Lost Thought, but I'd rather have Coral Commando here. I think having a creature is stronger. And we'll... Mm. Not ready for the gate just yet. I will grab the Hazda Officer. I'll pick up a Quench. Rester's Zeal. This is easy peasy. Just match colors at this point. We'll grab the Dead, dead Revels so nobody else can have them. It's quite simple. Okay, so this is where, when I think of a greedy draft, this is what I think of. I really need this Blood Crypt, so I'm taking the Blood Crypt. Like, it's, I'm free to play, and this goes very nicely in my collection. Thank you. I don't care what else is happening. I am not even close to picking up those colors, but I need that land, and I will happily take it. And now we're on to other cards. Oh, I like another Summary Judgment, don't I? I really do. There was some other good stuff in that pack, though. I just had to ignore it and take the the summary. See, I could have... Okay, so Arrestor's Admonition is good card draw, but another summary judgment is also good because uh, any kind of removal, especially in this set, there's a lot of this 5-3, 4-2-1-3s, you know, like, well, I guess uh, Rakdos Trumpeter could be a 3-3 three, three when he attacks, but summary judgment still kills them all. And I like that a lot. You don't find too many non-creature combos that do anything. I love Beastmaster, too. Dang. And there's no point in, like, counter-drafting either, because these are just, just bots that we're, that we're playing against. Mm, final Payment's good, too. I'm taking Amplifier. Because I need it for my collection. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think it's good for draft at all. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Amplifier's base power becomes twice that card's power. Put the revealed cards on the bottom of your library in any order. It's actually not bad. We'll let it hang out for just a minute and see what we can't come up with. Slime Bind is cool. Clear the Mind is cool. Ill-gotten Inheritance is good, but I'm not on black at all, so I don't think that would be worth it. Bankrupt in Blood isn't great. Wow, so if we're following our colors, we're going to grab Clear the Mind and hope that that pack doesn't come back around to us. I like 10th District Veteran. Gives another creature vigilance effectively. I don't hate Hazda, another Hazda officer. And uh, Okay, I'm going to go with Concordia Pegasus. I need more flying um, just because flying is very strong in, in draft formats. Even though it's a 1-3, it's tough. And you can sneak through for one every turn. Um, I don't have any combat tricks yet at this point to pump it up at all. So I'll be on the lookout for those. I like Archway Angel. Yep, got one of those, so I'll grab two. I'm not in love with the Panther, so I think we're okay to pass on him also and then pick up the the Archway Angel Prying Eyes. I gotta think this at a six won't be all that bad, and it's card draw that I will need. 
How's the officer or arrester's zeal? I'm going to go with arrester's Sazda officer. It's a creature. It gives a plus one, plus one. Sort of similar to arrester's zeal. I think how's the officer is a little stronger because it gives a uh, plus one, plus one buff anyway, and it's a creature. Cob mockery. I like incubation and incongruity. So we could do incubation in blue. Yep, yeah, that's the only thing we're on. Okay, so we'll grab it and play with it. It's gonna get cut. Who are we kidding? So it doesn't. Okay, out you go. Amplifier, out you go. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. We're not taking these from anybody. There's nothing here for us. Tenth district guardian. Well, I get bankrupt and blood goes away. See ya. Precognitive perception is terrific, and it's the artwork of the, the draft, so we win, right? Okay. We'll take it. I drafted, like, all three rares, didn't I? That's pretty funny. Exile a card from a graveyard, draw a card. That's not good. Vettelkin Engineer, or Geyer Engineer. We could do some combat tricks with Justicar's portal. And that gets kind of neat. Like, you can exile him away from removal, and then your creature comes back. That's Actually, that's what we're on, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Spirit of the Spires. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Oh, I love Dovin's Acuity, though, too. Curses. This is terrific card draw and life gain. Yeah, I'm going to do Dovin's Acuity. We're on it. And we're going all in on Azorius. Viscopa Vampire probably won't make it. Now I might start looking hard at Afterlife, or I like Quench a little bit too here. I've got one. I could use another probably. Counters any spell, not just a creature spell. Bring to Trial. I feel like... Uh, I feel like we're doing good with three summary judgments for removal. I love Forbidding Spirit. It is it is a game winner. These two are kind of similar. Like Quench, you could prevent something from happening, or Forbidding Spirit, you could prevent them from attacking you unless they pay two mana, which is very good. Um, but I think one more Quench would put me in a better spot. I like that better. Sentinel's Mark. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. We are fully on Sentinel's Mark for one of our flying creatures. They'll get plus one, plus two, and Vigilance. That is terrific. Depose and deploy. Absolutely. That's all us right now. I'm just going to keep my mouse right here and grab whatever card is in the number one spot, aren't I? Yep. That's exactly what we're doing. Another Justicar's Portal. This will work out. This is shaping up to be a pretty good deck, I hope. It's going to be expensive, but remember... Okay, and we'll grab the Archway Angel. Or the Gate. No, I'll grab the Angel. I don't think the gates are going to be too terrific. Okay, here we go. Now we're now we're lost. We'll move the grasping thrall down. Knight of Sorrows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's us. Even though I probably won't, I'm not going to play him. Forbidding Spirit came back. Thank you. Justicar's Portal. Watchful Giant and uh, Dead Weight. Dead White. Oh, Plague White. All right, okay, all right, you go away. 50 cards out of 40, nine planes, eight islands. I don't mind that. Okay, so if this Copa Vampire goes, everything else seems to fit pretty good. So we've got to cut nine cards. Let's take a look at how many creatures we have versus non-creatures. So I've got to cut nine. We'll cut three creatures only. And that makes me... Only a little nervous. Let's see. What's what's the ramp like for my creatures? Sentinel's Mark is a non-creature, but it stays. Fairy Duelist is a flyer, which I like. Let's take out Forbidding Spirit for now. And Coral Commando. He doesn't fly. So let's cut everybody who doesn't fly or give me... Knight of Sorrows is a pretty good blocker. Seven more cards. Okay. I'm going to stay with 15 creatures. Now I've got to cut seven non-creature spells here. So what don't I want to see? 
Precog Perception, Scry 3, Draw 3. It's pretty good. Prying Eyes, see ya. Dovin, do I need Dovin's Acuity and Precog? I'm going to say for now, yes. I don't need Clear the Mind. That was a garbage pick. I, I just in the in the garbage of the pack. Anyways, not I don't I don't necessarily think it's a bad pick. I just depose and deploy for now. You go. I like Quench. I'll keep Summary Judgment and Sentinel's Mark. Ooh, and Justicar's Portal. Okay, so here's where we're gonna make some cuts. Arrestor's Zeal. Yep. It's ruthless. Do I cut the Quenches? And and hopefully have enough flying to make this work. Well, maybe I should cut Skitter Eel and grab another flyer. Did I did I kick out a Fairy Duelist? So the interesting thing about Depose and Deploy is it's not a creature spell, but it does create two Thopter tokens if I use the Deploy side, or it acts as card draw. So it can be considered maybe a creature because um, because of the flying tokens that it creates. I don't like having less than 15 creatures when I draft, so I, that makes me a little uncomfortable. And then my curve is, I don't have any one drops in this deck, but I think that's okay because we're doing two, two a turn, we draw nine cards, play two lands. I think we'll be okay there. I just want to drop some non-creature spells, three, well, I could play 43 cards. There's no rule against that, is there? I don't want to cut Dovin's Acuity, the life gain. Oh, you know what? It, it doesn't make sense. I like it, but it doesn't make sense because whenever you cast the instant spell in your main phase, you get it back, and I don't have a lot of instant spells to cast on my main phase. I like Summary judge. I don't mind Summary Judgments. I like them a lot. And Justicar's Portal. I think those stay. Yep, we'll cut Dovin's Acuity. We will cut... Boy... Precog, Precog stays. Watchful Giant. It looks expensive, but I'm going to take a risk and say that it only looks expensive because uh, because of the draft event that we're doing. You know, maybe we just cut one summary and one Justicar, and then we'll be happy with two of each. Zorius. Draft. Okay, here we go. Game one. I will come back and say hi to everybody. We will get into some playtime. And hopefully we don't get get trounced too bad. Again, this is one of those events where the odds of winning greatly increase if you go first. Uh, it's a mana advantage event. And, you know, if we don't get that mana advantage, if we don't go first, then we're on the defense initially. But I feel like I've got enough creatures that have the toughness. Like, I mean, it's got two threes and definitely three sixes. Holy crap. But I'm going to keep it, right? play my two lands and pass that this flashes out yeah so we'll flash out fairy duelist and uh and, and keep, 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 keep. okay so tap land tap land two gates i'm still flashing them out okay this is so interesting 10th district veteran comes out and we attack for one here we go I, f I feel like there's an opportunity here to attack for more on turn two, but uh, didn't, didn't quite make it. Turn three, Watchful Giant. So the risk in drafting big creatures did pay off. Um, oh, he's got a whole lot of ramp here, but I don't think there's any... Unless he got a... If he got himself a Hydrocrasis, he's in business. We'll attack with both, and we'll leave our fair duelist untapped. Woohoo! Now we've got a big scary blocker of our own. <laughs> this, all this mana is so scary. Our opponent's got a gravel hide goblin, so he could pump it up. Um, that's actually a pretty good pick for this too. Yeah, come to think of it, again, I'm not all that scared of steeple creeper. He could gain flying if he had the mana for it. I don't think he's got the mana for it. We are going to... We're going to make this move here. 
I'm gonna send everybody in. Why not? And we'll untap our Watchful Giant. Now our Gravel Hide Goblin, he can't... He doesn't have the mana to pump either one of those, so I don't think he blocks. And I think I'm gonna let... I'm gonna let this attack go through. My 10th District Veteran is strong, but he's down to three cards. And and I could just the car's portal, but I think I'm gonna save it. I think I'm gonna let this happen. He goes down to 10, and a whole lot less creatures. Now, if he attacks, I can summary judgment somebody, which I like. I don't think he'll attack, but I've got some pretty scary attackers. And then if he if he blocks the Hazda officer, that's who gets the Justicar's portal to give the other creature um, plus one, plus one. Okay, so here we go. We're going to Justicar's portal a dude right now. And as an added benefit, we will get another token. Oh, really? Okay, fine. We'll do that. gonna slow us down a little bit. We'll attack with Hazda Officer, threatens both of his creatures. I don't think he wants to block this, but he will. Mm -mm. I didn't think so. He would much rather have his gravel hide goblin as a big beefy attacker for, you know, eight, six, you know, it's, it's a big attacker. And depending on his timing, I could summary judgment that gravel hide goblin as a two one because he'll he, he may put both of them on the stack at the same time, or if he attacks first. So my timing's got to be good with summary judgment because I don't want to, I don't want to apply it to this gravel hide too quickly, or we're in trouble. He got the Terramander. See, I was thinking about Terramander, but I don't think it's going to be very good because um, you're still not going to have a whole lot of instant slash sorcery spells in the graveyard. I realize I have three Archway Angels in here and no gates, but... It's not so much for the effect of the life gain. It's really just a big fat flyer, and big fat flyers when you draft. So, that's what we wanted. Yay, an island! I think I'm just going to go ham. Let's see what he's got. He could block with his gravel hide and pump him up to a 4-3. He loses the Feral Macaw. I lose a Fairy Duelist. He, he could block and then pump, yeah. And then he takes 3, he goes down to 4 which I feel like is a pretty good spot for us to be in at this point. He doesn't have any cards in hand. He could draw with his locket and then not attack again, which is pretty strong, so I don't mind, I don't mind his decision there. He attacks me with either one of those flyers. I summary judgment. They die. He draws a card. His turn. He draws two? Oh, they do draw two cards. Okay. Those aren't bad. I mean, I do have precognitive perception somewhere in this deck and a couple other card draws. He only has one instant... So I could freely attack with Watchful Giant and he pretty much has to block. Growth Spiral is so interesting to actually play in this event. You don't need the mana ramp. It's two mana per turn. Card draw, I suppose. Yeah? Okay. Huh. I wouldn't have gone with Growth Spiral. But maybe... Yeah, I'm just an amateur. I do... I'm like silver rated in draft events. So... Oh, I see. He's not relying on instant or sorcery spells being in the graveyard, he's relying solely on just having the mana to do it. That makes sense. I've got 
skitter eel, and we'll go ahead and just adapt them. I know sometimes I over telegraph my adapts. Uh, most of the time I over telegraph my adapts, but now at least I've got some threats on the board. And he may decide that he doesn't have the the power. So I can nuke either one of these the second they attack. Twice. I do have two summary judgments in the deck somewhere, so I'm not all that upset about casting one on any one of those three creatures he has. I thought I'd have more flying the way I drafted, too. I thought I'd have a whole board full of flyers by now. Shoot. Sure. So it does seem to be a draft that does favor the bigger creatures, of course. Why wouldn't it be a planes? Um, so you could freely like draft these big guys, and and you'll see them. You know, it's turn three or turn four, you'll have six mana. Mm -hmm. There's the adapt. Too bad they don't tap for that. Oh well. So that's my summary judgment target right there, for show. He adapts the Aeromunculus. Or is he, like, bouncing somebody? Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I really want him to attack, so I can... Well, no, I have to wait, because it's only do three damage. So I have to wait. I have to eat the five. He doesn't have Vigilance. I mean, I'm gonna... Yeah, this is gonna suck. Ouch. course. It's also the draw land every turn draft. So we'll play Skitter Eel. Ooh, so he's got a counter spell or something. He might have a quench in there. Or he just might straight up have a counter spell, which doesn't make me very happy. If it's a quench, we can solve it. If it's not a quench, okay, cool. So that is not game over. And we swing in for three. And I I don't think he takes this, but I could be wrong. Yeah, and then adapt your Aeromunculus. That would work. Uh, that way he doesn't die. And you can go off. Yeah, that works. He's got to be a little bit more careful, though, because uh, he's a little lower on health than he needs to be right now. This is a good game. This is one of the better draft games I've played in, actually. Number Muncher. I hope you're an accountant. That's funny. But yeah, this is this is a fun event. He's he did get card advantage. Clearly, these lockets are aren't too bad. If you see a locket and it's later in the draft, I would grab a couple. Maybe maybe just one in there because in this event you will be able to get that card draw. Even though it costs four mana, mana's nothing. Maybe I can get a card I can play. So there's the attack. He'll have a 6-6 six, six soon. Maybe he's planning on blocking with that 6-6. Six, six. I'm going to adapt my skitter eel. We're going to precog in the main phase. Scry 3 and then draw 3. Excellent. So, Concordia Pegasus is probably not the creature we need right now. But I only have five mana for the Archway Angel. Didn't get any land out of that. Knight of Sorrows can block an additional creature. Any afterlifes for one, so we will do that. Block the Soraform Hybrid. He'll die. We'll afterlife for one. And then, in theory, we can sneak in... For, so he can block both of these creatures without too much trouble. So I'm not going to worry about attacking right now. Not until I get the Archway Angel going. I'd really like to see whatever the new uh, Candlelight Vigil is. I forget what it's called. But Smart move. Smart move. And now does he drop a creature? I can't counter it. I wish I could. Of course. course. Why wouldn't he skewer the critics? Awesome. So there's a good example. I went first and still managed to lose. That's typical of me. Um, but I feel like 
I feel like maybe that player understood this draft a little bit better than I did at this point. Um, knowing how the mana ramp effect is going to benefit your hand a little bit. Having no maximum hand size is almost totally irrelevant in, in draft formats. Like, there's not a lot of card draw happening. And even if there is a lot of card draw, you still need creatures to do anything in this draft. So, okay, here we go. My opponent goes first, and he is going to show me what is up. Blue white again okay so very similar that construction petitioners if he does anything with these petitioners I think I'll be upset by that so I don't have y'all have I'll be on three land also on turn two so doesn't appear to be super helpful everybody else went for a locket so I would also do that Screaming shield. I've got no answer for that. That doesn't make me all that happy. Okay, I like the officer here. If he taps the petitioners for the mill effect, I can... If I had the card, I could kill out of Justicar's portal, not, not the other one. Hmm. Now I'm a little stuck. Uh-oh, hope I get the land. I wonder if he's got high alert. Okay, got a summary judgment. Good there. We'll do another Pegasus. Swing in for one. So now we have some answers, at least. Which is good. So he still can't use the Screaming Shield, which is kind of funny. It takes three to equip it, and then two and a tap effect to use it. So he won all artifacts. It's kind of cool. Or Azorius Knight Arbiter doesn't uh, tap to attack, so I can't summary judgment it right away. And it's unblockable. It's actually very strong. Wish I would have gotten. So we will attack for two and save our combat tricks till later. Because I could Fairy Duelist on the Azorius Knight Arbiter and take no damage from him next turn at least. And then perhaps turn that into a block of some sort. Uh huh. We'll just get milled. One card. Oh, I should have... Rats, I should have killed him. Maybe not. Oh, this is good. Ill-gotten inheritance is so good in draft. In this in this set, anyway. Well, if he attacks with Pitiless Pontiff... No reason to give him Death Touch. It does Afterlife. It doesn't even Afterlife. Yeah, we'll do that. So he taps his Petitioners down. Okay, so here we go. Yep, I'm going to sell out for this. Here we go. And we'll kill this guy. I don't think I have too much in the way of taking care of this Azorius Knight Arbiter just yet. I think I will, but not yet. He can give him Death Touch. He's not going to take any damage. He wasted a mana. Yeah, you've got to do one damage at least for Death Touch to work, so... We're going to needle him for four. He'll gain one life with ill-gotten inheritance, which... Oh, shoot. I did not want to attack with Hasda Officer. That's my bad. That is my bad.
still two mana away from my Archway Angels, which the mana ramp did not work in my favor this game. This is shaping up to be another one of those events where I just lose three games in a row. I could hit him for three, which is more like two because of his ill-gotten inheritance. He's gonna do some mill. Oh, he went three colors. This is Zesper. That was pretty good. <laughs> boy, oh boy. I'd rather save my Justicar's portal for some sort of defensive move, I think. Um, Twilight Panther gains death touch, so I'm not really worried. Nope, nope, nope. Shoot, I did it again. We'll portal him out. Just because I don't want him to die. I keep attacking with him by accident. This is not my plan, but it is what it is. Another four, which is more like three, so there's not a lot. Yeah. He fairy duelists him. And he can block down somebody. This is a good, good plan. Good plan. Yeah, this will... It's almost worth switching to black. Although I think I saw the ill-gotten inheritance come up a little too late in the in the draft to worry about picking it up. All right, can't block him anyways. Hey, it's land! It is too late for land. I'm on for three, four, five. Why do all my creatures have one less attack? No, oh, is already a sky guard. Creatures opponents control get minus one, minus zero. That's that's awesome. I could pick up the land and then cast Quench on whatever he plays, and then my Archway Angels could come in pretty handy. Actually, I kind of like that idea, because I can play both this turn. I already played one? Is that what happened? No, because I drew the Precog. I can't play two lands this turn? Shouldn't I, shouldn't I be able to play two? No? Huh. Well, there goes that plan. Hmm. Well. I don't get this event, then. I thought it was two lands a turn, maybe just the first turn. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Did I... Did I not do this right? Did I draw that card some other method? Hmm. Do not have any gates, so I would probably pick up some gates to go along with Archway Angel. And I do have some some combat tricks. Like I can return them to his hand, I think. Oh, maybe I took those out. Mill effects. It's interesting. Ill-gotten inheritance is great. And I hate it. This guy combined with high alert is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to quench it just to make him pay the extra mana. If he pays the extra mana, he can't sack his lockets and draw cards. Uh, not that not that he has any chance of losing this game at this point. All he has to do is wait and ill-gotten inheritance to do the rest. Yeah, he pays it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right, you win this one, buddy. And he can't directly attack. Two, three, four. Okay, all right, you win. He wins. We'll just move on to the next game. Let's take one quick look at the deck, though. I don't want to get out of here with zero wins. That's always 
defeating and embarrassing, but whatever, it happens. Um, I don't have... I don't have any like, combat tricks to return them to their hand or anything. Well, all right, we'll just we'll just go with it. All right, let's try and win one game. Can we get to one game? Are you kidding me? I got the vault. That's the first time I've ever seen the vault. So we'll open that up. That'll be fun. I'll do that in this weekend's. Uh, Ramp Packs video where I open the vault, open some packs up. I didn't think it would be possible to get to that vault on free-to-play. That is very exciting. Oh, what's this crap? I go first. Time to mulligan. Okay, this is much better. I don't want the... Fifth, I do. Fine, I do. I'll take it. Now I can play a Senate Courier that will get Vigilance pretty much every turn. I don't know why. I'm just feeling like quenching whatever he plays. You know why? Because the later this game goes, there is a greater chance that quench is not going to matter. So he might have a forecasting spell, but... I wouldn't have enough mana to play Quench anyways, and then next turn I'm going to be on for hopefully one of my big guys. Terrific. We'll give him Vigilance just for fun, even though I'm not definitely not blocking a Death Touch creature. That'd be silly. What's this? <laughs> What? Holly drew his land. So I think if this is the game, then I will gang block with my tokens, right? So I'll. He can't counter anything with black and white, but it is holding priority, so maybe he's got, like. Um. The Gideon's Reproach of this set, I forget what it's called. So now he does it on his turn, because that's when it does 5 damage to a creature. Arrestor's Admonition, maybe, I forget what it's called. Consigned to the Pit. Ho-hum. No blockers. And another Watchful Giant. So now we've got two blockers there. I'm happy about that. I can block his Noxious Grudian. We'll attack for one. Ah, you thought you'd get away with that attack. Well, I'm coming back for one. He's got a seventh mana. He's running Ill-Gotten Inheritance for sure, which will surely win him this game too. Maybe you should try and go into black on purpose in this set just for Ill-Gotten Inheritance. It is so strong. Yeah, he knows I'm gang blocking. All right, but we'll do Archway Angels. And l unless he's got a few more consigns to the pit. He's probably got a couple more. But in either case, uh, we do have two Archway Angels, and we can use those for flyers pretty handily. So now we're, now we're talking here. This flying is very strong. Um, doesn't survive against removal all that well, but it will... Still make me happy. Six. I'd rather get the extra land out, so that way I can protect my creatures with Justicar's portal. For now, I'm pretty happy with just throwing four damage at him that flies over his blocker, and then I can portal my creatures around, and if I need to save them, I can. He's going to have to play another threat pretty soon, so let's see what he's got. Knight of Sorrows. It's okay. I don't think he attacks. I think his creature is too valuable. Okay, he attacks. He blocks. No. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. 
Okay. I'll, I'll sacrifice my Senate Courier. I'm okay with that. Not that I don't like my Senate Courier, but I'm not giving up my Archway on my Watchful Giant, that's for sure. I'm going to attack with both of them. I think he blocks with Knight of Sorrows. He doesn't. That puts him at six. I could portal out my giant for the token. Watchful Knight of Sorrows does not have Vigilance, so he does tap to attack. Okay, another Archway Angel, and this game looks like it's going to go in our favor very soon. I don't want to give him the Afterlife token, so I will only attack with my Flyers this turn. Any removal, I portal away. I think we're good. Right? Game client's going a little slow. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater, he doesn't. So I just lose my Pegasus. I'm going to let that happen. I'm really worried about my Archway Angels, not my Pegasuses. He's at 3 as long as one of these survives and he doesn't play a flyer uh, that can block both of these creatures or sacrifice his Knight of Sorrows and play a flyer, then we're in business for the win. Afterlife of 2. So now he's got the creature with power 4 or greater. Okay, then we're good to go. So rather than waste our portal on the on the Pegasus, we could save it for the Angel and make the make the play all about pressure. One win in, woo hoo! These these draft events are are funny. Um, a lot of times, unless you get like extra cards, they are not worth doing. Other than they're not worth doing over normal draft events. Like, th there's nothing wrong with just a normal draft, you know. And we don't go first this time, so let's see how badly I drafted for this event. Blue in a Gateway Plaza. Blue in a Plains and a Concordia Pegasus. What do you got against a Concordia Pegasus? Green, a Frenzied... Frenzied Erics. And Frenzied Erics is rated very high in this set. But I gotta think an event like this. He's very strong. We'll drop a Skitter Eel. Attack for one. We'll eat four. Or potentially four, five, six. We'll eat four or potentially seven. I hope not, but that's is what it is. Before we punch him in the face with Summary Judgment. That's what it's called. Summary Judgment. There it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Of course, he might have a, a counterspell of his own. No, I don't think there's a single counterspell with one blue. It's Frilled Mystic, which you don't get. Uh-uh. Yeah. No Frilled Mystics for you. Sorry, dude. Ha! <laughs> I'm not sorry. One more mana, I can go into Night of Sorrows. No mana, I can adapt my Skitter Eel. Unless he's about to die, he's looking at him. Rut row. Nothing. No mana. Another Pegasus. We'll drop it down. Nope, I should have adapted. Chant creature can't... Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't adapt him then. That's good. But I can portal him away, and then when he portals away, the enchantment falls off, and then he comes back unenchanted. So I like the portal for a couple of reasons in this set. Knight of Sorrows. Fairy Duelist, that's fine. He takes nothing. Locket. I should have grabbed a locket. I feel bad for not grabbing a locket now. So we will dump a Hazda officer on the Pegasi and swing in with everything. I'm not that scared of a fairy duelist. He wants him to live. 
So one more land and I can drop any one of my big beefs, which will go all flying all the time. One more non-land. He's not getting a whole lot of land either. Look at this. He's only got four. Maybe he went with fewer land for this draft just to um, just to see if he could if he could like instead of having fewer land with smaller casting creatures, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's all about. So he's at nine. He can block two creatures. He could effectively take two, but then I get more flyers. I'm just going to swing in with everything. I'm going to go old school. So he blocks a Pegasus. So he's going to take six right here. But his creatures live. Okay. I was kind of hoping he would do that. So if I draw land, I'm in business. Or maybe you should add more land for this. No, more land for this event wouldn't do it. I'm really not sure what the right way to draft for this is. He can't attack me. And I'm very confident in that. Archway angels are coming out. We'll hold off on the attack. That buys him some time to build up a little more defenses. But I need to only sneak through with any one of these guys. So I can attack for with all three of these guys. Play my Archway Angel. He can't kill this Angel, at least not by blocking. He may have some combat tricks. Um, so he could remove a counter, but I don't see any counters. This guy doesn't reach. This one reaches, so he's going to lose some creatures here. Will attack with everybody. He blocks the Pegasus instead of any other creature. He dies. Nope, that's death. Mm-hmm. So he gang blocks. This is an interesting choice. Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to kill Balrak first because I don't want him to afterlife. Right? Right. Oh, he made sure that Knight of Sorrows died to get the afterlife effect. Okay, so this will work for him. I get an afterlife. And I get another Archway Angel. Okay, cool. So now let's see what he's got going on. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear the kids playing. Hopefully not. Either way, I got kids. No big deal. <clears throat> Don't like that at all. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, it doesn't have the same name. There's... Son of a gun. Alright, so... He just bought himself some time. Which I don't like. We're going to attack again. He has to... He could block... He could block the other way. So he's going to take out token for token. He can never attack with that mammoth spider. And now I can kill his Balrock clan crusher. Or I can portal out my eel. And make him a 5-5. Five five, I think... Okay, we got the mana. We got the mana for that. Okay. Another game that's going to drag on for quite a while. But I think I think we're doing okay this game. We might be able to sneak away with this one. He's going to have card advantage. Okay. Okay, pro tip. Tip of this draft, get a locket for sure. Those are very good in this event. You will have the mana to use it for card draw. Uh, and it will help you nicely on turn. Because you could play it on turn two. You have four mana down. Play your locket for three. You have two mana to cast something else. That's actually pretty strong. Wrecking Beast. He tramples. If it doesn't have the same name, draw a card. Okay, that's cool. Oh, this is good for draft two. Guardian Project? 
I haven't seen that card yet, this set. So he gets a draw card. He does the counter instead of haste. Let's see what his attack pattern is. I'd like him to attack with Mammoth Spider. I think he should do that. So I'm going to adjust the cards portal out my skitter reel. Terrific. I'll pay the four mana now. Boy. This mammoth spider is awfully pesky. I wish I would have got one of these law mages, but I didn't even see one in the in the three packs, darn it. I might have missed it. There were a couple of picks I made. Uh in particular, the, the land uh, I picked was just uh, purely a greed pick because I wanted the uh, the blood crypt, and uh, so it's what I did. So if I can get him to tap a creature, I can kill it. Or if I can save up some cards, play a Hazdam. Marshal has the officer, right? Mar it's the officer in this set on Archway Angel. I could make him a 5 6 and then attack, kill his mammoth spider, and then that's all the defense he has against flying. It's on the, we're on the clock though, and he's got a whole lot of cards to play with. This isn't ideal. I have one of those too, so. He's got a whole lot of cards to play with. Holy crap. Can we survive another five turns? I could gang block the Wrecking Beast. High alert. There it is. This is not good. Not good at all. I don't like this. I didn't get any enchantment removal. I think we're toast. I kill your gateway sneak. Senate Courier would be good with High Alert also. Might be like a 4-4 four, four for 3. But now his, uh, his Mammoth Spider is a lot more dangerous because it assigns combat damage equal to its toughness. It now, it now attacks like a 5-5. Five, five. Yay. I could technically sneak in for 1 with Justicar's Portal, or if I could pump up my Senate Courier to a 3... That's also the game. Does he have that many gates? Holy crap. <laughs> okay. I could gang block here and kill it. Oh no. Oh no. He's got eight cards left. And I don't think I have enough mustard. Nope, nope, nope. Unless I get a precog. Okay, and then I can get into a scry and draw and pump up my Senate Courier to be a, a three whatever. And then I can sneak in no reach, no reach, no reach, no reach. So he can only block with his Mammoth Spider. We all know he's saving counter spells though, don't we? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Terrific. What's he, what's his game plan here? This is so risky. We'll block down the mammoth spider. Wait, no, I can't do it this way. Yeah. I'll 
I'll take six. Or more. Maybe he's got Might of the Masses. I think that's a Guilds of Ravnica card. I'm not positive. Unless he just accidentally attacked with a spider. Maybe. wonder what he's got going on. Or did he just make a misplay? I don't think that's the case. He's been playing pretty good magic up to this point. I don't think he's going to accidentally attack with his life-saving giant spider over there. Remove a counter. Deal two damage to any target. Okay. Gates ablaze. All right, so let's... So, am I going to save him? Or does this resolve? Nope, it resolves, and then gates ablaze. Oh, that's dumb. That's, like, super dumb. Poop. Okay, all right, he wins. So you can't Justicar's portal away from the Gates of Blaze. That is unfortunate. And I'm not running Skewer the Critics or any kind of red direct damage, which might be kind of strong. <laughs> Woo! Fair, yeah, that was a good game. That was a good one. That was a good game. Mammoth Spider for the win. All right, so one and three. Terrible results. That's okay. This is these events are tricky. Uh, you know when you have like these special rules to the drafts. So let's get our pack. It ended up costing us only 650 gems. I'm not upset about that. And I am saving gold. Very important. Saving gold for the next set. War of the Spark as it comes out. Let's open up our packs and see what we got. I'm gonna save the vault for the next video. So. If you're still with me, thank you, and make sure you subscribe to catch the, uh, the vault opening. Another amplifier. Okay, fine. It really wants me to have amplifier. Dragons? Amplifier and dragons? Huh. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate all the support. Enjoy this event. It's kind of fun. I wouldn't do it twice. Well, I'm not going to do it twice. That's for sure. Take it easy.